Now, white folks, I hope you've enjoyed yourselves tonight so far. And now, I, I, I've talked about white people a lot already, and, um, but I've got to talk to you a little bit more, cause, um, because I've got to talk to you about your parenting skills. <clears throat> Every time I see it on the news, I get really irritated when I hear them, you shouldn't beat your children. Don't beat your kids. Talk to them. Give them a time out. Beat the motherfuckers. That's what I'm trying to tell you. <coughs> white folks, please beat your children. Because non-white parents will beat their kids. Your dad's Puerto Rican, your mom's black. They must have whooped your ass for no reason sometimes, huh? <laughs> hey, son, come here. What's that for? I know you did some shit when I wasn't here. <laughs> Mexican parents are doing that. Mira. <laughs> They'll beat you, man. Indian parents aren't afraid to kill their kids if they have to, you know what I mean? We're the second largest population in the world. Reproduction's not a big deal. <laughs> My dad's theory was if I get rid of one, I'll just make another one. <laughs> then I will tell the new one what an idiot the last one was. You gotta beat your kids, folks, please. And I know a lot of white people don't beat them and I don't understand why you won't beat your kids. Please beat them. If you have kids and you haven't beaten them, when you go home tonight... <laughs> shit, when you turn off this DVD, I want you to go into your kid's room and, hey, hey, buddy, how you doing? Hey, sleeping. Yeah? Oh, that's good. Heaven, yeah? Mm-hmm, yeah. Whack, just one, no, no. Whack, you know. He's already lying down, he'll sleep it off. Don't worry about it, all right? You gotta beat them, and I'll tell you why. <clears throat> because white kids are now going to school with, with black kids and, 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 and brown kids and, and Asian kids, and they're going, to, they're going to school with multicultural kids. And all those kids get beaten. <laughs> and they'll all be hanging around the playground having fun with each other, you know what I mean? And they'll be, and they'll be talking about the ass whooping they got last night. Black and my dad beat my ass. And he goes, my dad beat my ass too. And goes, I got my ass whoop. <laughs> Do you want that white kid to feel left out? <laughs> beat him so he's not a social outcast. I got sent to my room. <laughs> you got a room? <laughs> beat them, please. And I'll tell you why you need to beat them. Why else? <clears throat> because when... When white kids hang around non-white kids, we tend to look at them for advice. And it could get us murdered if we listen to their fucked up advice <laughs> on how to deal with our parents. I remember when I was 10 years old, I hung around this little white kid, Ryan. Ryan's parents never beat him and they never even yelled at him. He could do anything he wanted and nothing was gonna happen to him. But he was an angry kid. He walked into his house after school one day, his mom goes, Ryan, go clean your room. Fuck you, bitch! <laughs> His mom goes, what am I gonna do with him? <laughs> Beat his ass. I go, Ryan, you can't talk to your mom like that. Yes, I can, she's a fucking idiot! Don't say that, man, she'll hit you. No, she won't, she's not allowed to. What are you talking about, dude? My parents hit me. Yeah, well, next time they try it, you tell them to fuck off. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> Trust me, it works for me. So I went home for the last time. I walked in the house, my dad goes, Russell, come and do the dishes. <laughs> Fuck you, dad. <laughs> what the hell did you just say to me? Do I look like Ryan's mom? <laughs> Somebody gonna get a hurt real bad.
That was my dad's threat right before he'd beat me every single time. Russell, somebody gonna get a hurt real bad. I hated that threat. You know why? Because he'd always say somebody. He'd never tell you it was you. I mean, you knew it was you. But he'd give you this hope. Russell, somebody gonna get a hurt real bad. Somebody. I'm not gonna say who. Oh, I think you might know him very well. I'm in the back praying, I hope it's my brother, man. Please beat Julio's ass. I saw that little brat Ryan at school a few days later. I was like, yo, your little plan almost got me killed. He goes, oh, sorry, dude. I forgot to tell you the other part. If he's still gonna hit you, threaten to phone child services. Why? Because if you phone child services, they'll come and take your dad away and he'll get in trouble. You won't even have to call. Just pretend it'll scare the shit out of him. <clears throat> You're 10 years old. You figure out how to scare the shit out of your dad. That's like finding kryptonite. I thought I'd try it. I was about to get my next beating. I stopped my dad. I go, don't do it. I'll phone child services. You ever had your parents call your bluff? You'll do what? <laughs> I'll phone child services. Is that right? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Well, let me get you the phone, tough guy. What are you doing? If I phone child services, you'll get in trouble. I might get into a little bit of trouble. But I know that it's going to take them 22 minutes to get here. In that time, somebody gonna get a hurt real bad. Thank you very much. Good night.